For this lesson, we're going to talk about PAC files, specifically how to extract the PAC file data and what they are. PAC files are used within the engine to basically zip up files. In theory, they can be considered just the same as a .zip file, except we are able to run through uh, the build system a little bit better regarding the PAC files, and then we can push them out and eliminate things. So it's more of an intertwined system built with the build system, so it's a little bit more optimized. But this video will concern itself as far as how do we open up a PAC file to see what the contents are, and what do we do after we've up opened that PAC file. So what we have here is the Game SDK project that everybody downloads off of the marketplace. And inside of this, inside of the asset, so in theory this is what you'd get, and you go to the assets and you would see all of these PAC files. Well, what do you do? I mean, it doesn't have anything specifically saying it's going to open with that. And the answer is, at least internally and externally for years, people have used something called 7-zip. So if we look, it's at www.7-zip.org. And with this, you're able to download, whether it be a 32-bit or a 64-bit executable. And once installed, we can go right back to where we were. And let's go ahead and open something up, something I know that doesn't exist. So I have characters here. Let's go ahead and do Geome Cache. It's pretty random, but if we right-click, we can go to 7-Zip, and we can open the archive. So once we open the archive, we can see that we have objects, Geome Caches, and then we have some of our examples. So just like before, with anything that you have with the zip file, we drag that in. It'll ask, do you want to merge this? And you say yes. And if we go into here, we now have the geom cache examples all inside of our directory. So that's just a basic idea of how pack extraction works in the primitive sense. There will be other tutorials regarding pack files and how you exactly use the build system. Push those out because you can do encryption as well within the pack files to maybe protect your content from any intellectual property theft when you finish your game and push it out to the market. 